Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. And we'll take it right uh, up State Street here on our U.S. netting cam. You can kind of see the haze in the atmosphere, but if you look closely on the street, sometimes you can see some shadows. So the moisture remains and the rain comes and goes. So we'll track it again for you. Another batch of showers with some embedded heavy downpours now moving uh, western Warren down to about Oil City. So let's just do county by county here. Most of this has moved out of Erie County except for the Cory area. And as we go down to Crawford County, you can see that uh, cell right back here that moved in from Ashtabula. Wait for it with all the lightning. That prompted a warning, but it quickly dissipated. So most of this stuff down by uh, Titusville, Buell's Corners, and headed over here to you guys in Warren County as you look up towards Sugar Grove and Pittsfield in that area. And those downpours and a little bit of lightning headed towards Warren, Scandia, and Sheffield in the next half hour. So you get one line through, you get another here, you get another here, so off and on showers, but gradually diminishing as we go through the night. Our high today was 77, our low 69 degrees, that short range from high and low, of course, because of the abundant cloud cover and the moisture. Now, officially, Erie only pick it up 13 one hundredths, but still well above normal for the month and well below normal for the year. But other folks, especially to the south and east of Erie, Meadville, Warren, Franklin, you got a good share of rain in the last 24 hours. Uh, so rain diminishes later tonight. Tomorrow it's still plenty cloudy and there might be some drizzle, fog, or light rain in the morning. Improving for Saturday. Nice day. Best day of the weekend right there. And then the clouds come back uh, Sunday morning and we'll watch for some showers and storms on Sunday. 72 Erie, 67 Meadville, 70 in Warren, as well as uh, Franklin. And if you look at the 24-hour temperature change, obviously it is a lot cooler right now than it was 24 hours ago. Unfortunately, the dew points are still 65, 70 degrees. So it's going to take till tomorrow and into Saturday where you're going to see more of a break in that. Uh, and our computer model just verifying in that. There you go, back into the 50s as you go into your Friday. Saturday looks pretty good, very comfortable, sunshine. And uh, once we get past that, it will start to creep back up on Sunday. So front break, more rain later in the weekend. Let's check on uh, Elsa, a tropical storm here, of course, uh, centered over central North Carolina. So if you have friends, families, interest in the East Coast, it's more of a windy rainstorm as we track it for you, going kind of right up the I-95 corridor over Long Island, north of Boston, and up into the Canadian Maritime. So maps in motion for you. You can see the rain gradually diminishing as we go later in the night. But again, it's coming in an on and off uh, basis. Cooler air with the northwest winds tomorrow. Certainly some light precipitation is possible early on Friday, and then you start to see these breaks in the clouds try to move east, and that would be the better day on Saturday. Get out and enjoy that one if you can. So for tonight along the lake shore, you still have those rounds of showers and maybe a rumble of thunder. Certainly can get it downpour in spots, but not raining all the time. 63 to 66. As you go down I-79 inland, Edinburgh, Titusville, humid evening showers, chance of storms, 61 to 64. And again, all these uh, waves will be diminishing later tonight, but you still have chances this evening. Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties with uh, lows 60 to 64. So tomorrow, clouds hang tough. Maybe some drizzle or a shower early and maybe some late day sun. Mid-70s, as you go into the seven day, you can see Saturday, no precip. Nice 76 Sunday. Some stuff coming in, especially in the afternoon, and a good chance of showers and storms Monday. Little less on Tuesday, but in the heat and steam that will build next week, and those temperatures could be a little bit higher. We have to at least include some chances for some activity popping up Wednesday and Thursday. Typical summer weather continuing. Until further notice, view it on the weather page at yourerie.com. Well, the weekend looks like it shouldn't screw up any uh, plans or anything. Half and half, anyway. Okay, thank you.